What's going on guys? Kyle here coming back to you with another mining shed update video. Today I got my two Antminer S21s in the mail and I'm super pumped about it. Obviously crypto market's doing great. I haven't been posting a lot because the shed's just been kind of doing its thing but today's a good day. We got some new miners. We're going to go ahead and get them installed in the shed. Let me go ahead and get these things unboxed, check them out, give you guys an overview, show you how to set them up and we'll at least get them temporarily installed so we can start making some money with them. So stick around, it's gonna be a good one. come with it. I bought mine from Crypto Miner Bros. And mine did come with it. They told me it would. So that's good. Alright. Alright, so here it is. Looks like your stereotypical Bitcoin miner, except we got this new power port here. You no longer have the SD card. You still have Ethernet, obviously. And you got a little micro USB, it looks like, there. So, plan, pretty simple. We're going to take that machine, we're going to put it here. So for now, I'm going to put these here this shelf. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this out and we'll see about getting one of these plugged in and tested. I think that's going to work. Let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and then we'll hop in the computer and I'll show you what the setup looks like. should be as simple as just plug it in and it should just turn on. We got four watts. Fans are coming on. All right, we're on. All right. We're slowly climbing. It's all just fan power. Look at that. Woo! That thing does get loud. Definitely a different sound than I'm used to with these things. All right, so I'm back here and found the IP address. I'm gonna use the default login here. And as you can see, we're on the S21 up here so everything looks good um this is saying abnormal just because the pool's not set up yet but everything looks good here temps are great boards are great so awesome so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll get logged into via btc so that we can grab the stratum url go ahead and throw that in here and the other ports are 25 and 443 I think it's 123 is what it likes to see yeah it's 
Something like that will do. We'll go ahead and leave it in normal mode for now and we'll save. And then we got to get this thing in uh, minor stat as well. So we'll go ahead and add new worker. We're going to call it golf. It's an ASIC, ant miner. Nine. And add. Now, I think that this will pick it up automatically. Alright, so I had to wait a couple minutes, but it picked it up automatically, right as I'd expect it to. Sitting here, no hash rate yet. We pretty much stabilized now. Fluctuates from 15 and change all the way up to 16 amps. Hash rate's looking solid. Been about 30 minutes online. So we're getting pretty stabilized here. I, am, I have concerns and about what's gonna happen when it gets warm out because as you can see it's only 77 in here right now and if i put that there it would say 40 so i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do open any suggestions in the comments obviously i can upgrade to 10 too i could put a 30 amp breaker in there but this thing is still only rated for 20 amps. I, I'm so annoyed that they sent a cable, a, a proprietary cable at that, that's only rated for 20 amps. Um, for a machine that most definitely uses more than 16 amps of power when it's warm out. And so I'm not exactly sure what my solution is going to be yet, but it is mining for now. It's supposed to be cool for a little while, so I've got a little bit of time to brainstorm on that. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one set up and get it rolling at least so we can see how it does. And then I'll kind of do some thinking on what, cause it wouldn't be hard to pull some tin two over. Uh, I wouldn't have to mess too much with pulling this plastic down. I'd probably have to pull it down some, but not a ton, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. And it wouldn't be too hard to rewire one of these. Um, it would be annoying, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. So we can do that. We'd have to get a new plug, but we can do that. It's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get this other one set up and then we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, see if it backed up to almost 16 amps so and we're right on the cusp and it's not even hot yet so definitely looking like these are going to be the uh uh a challenge to do for home mining so all right let's go ahead and get this one open all right these things have stabilized and one of them's running at 16 and a half amps and the other one runs at 15 and a half amps. So loving the consistency there, Bitmain. Not much is different about these two. They should be getting similar air. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But I can't let that sit at 16 and a half amps almost. So... I'm gonna keep watching it, I guess, but they're installed and they're running. I'm probably gonna have to turn them down to low power mode. I'm gonna figure that out, I guess. I, I'm i a little upset with these right now. I, I know that I'll overcome these challenges, but it's just annoying in the moment when the S19s were so perfect and so well designed, and I don't know why they had to change it and go to this proprietary plug that is making it difficult to safely run these things on 240 volt and why they're sending them out with a 20 amp rating when they should really have a 30 amp rating. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm pretty pumped to have increased the 
uh, hash rate in the shed, so that's cool. But we gotta overcome some challenges, so in the next video, I'll hopefully have a solution and we'll start working on upgrading this and swapping the fans out on that and getting everything going. So stay tuned, subscribe, uh, like the video, leave a comment if you know anything about electrical work and you have any advice here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.